Hello everyone, this is John Frausto with TopspinTennis.com. In this video, I'm going to do an analysis uh, on M Martina Hingis' serve. Uh, somewhat of an underrated serve. Uh, she spent 209 weeks on the WA Tour at number one singles and 90 weeks at doubles. So she had an effective serve. I don't know if she got as much um, notoriety for it. So I thought, you know what, let's do a video on her, on her serve analysis. And um, I had a gentleman, CEO, had actually uh, asked if I would um, if I would do this. So this goes out to you. So thank you for the recommendation. Um, I hope you enjoy the video. Hey, we're closing in on 4,000 subscribers. Um, been putting a lot of work into the channel lately and really looking forward to where we're heading. Do me a favor, and if you, if you could just hit that like and subscribe button down below, that really helps the channel out. Um, and also leave some comments. What are you looking for on this channel? What kind of instruction, analysis, drills, games, um, technique? Uh, I'd be interested if you could put, put that down below because uh, there's only so many ideas that I, can, I, I have in my head. But I really depend on you um, and your expertise and knowledge and thoughts to really help me guide, uh, guide the channel to where, where it's going to be in the future. So anyway, enjoy the video. All right, so um, currently she's um, addressing the line, and uh, let's just go ahead and progress the video and kind of see where um, what she does here moving forward. Here's the routine. Every player should have a routine on their serve. Um, some people have different rit rituals, different things that they do. Uh, we know what Nadal's are, right? Those are a little bit different. Um, she bounces the ball three times here, and then she gets into her ready position here. Uh, Djokovic, different story, right? Back in the day, he would bounce it 16 times, and it varied. In this drill, I mean, in this practice session, it's basically been three to two bounces, addresses the line, uh, and then she's prepared to initiate uh, the backswing. Um, in this position, I like to address the 90-10 rule. 90% 90 of her weight will actually be on the front foot when she brings these hands together and then about 10% on the back foot. So if you notice here, she'll get her weight on her front foot, back foot, uh, the heels off the ground, uh, very common in this position, and then obviously the hands are together. She's ready to go. All right, let's go ahead and look at the take back. So here's where the weight transfer happens. So we go, I'd like to say it's a 90-10 rule again here. And what I mean by that is the weight goes from the front foot to the back foot. And now she's in that 90-10 rule again. 10% on the front foot and 90% is on the back foot. So this is a common transition on the serve. You watch all the pros, a lot of them will do this um, on the serve. So if you're an instructor or you're learning, really work on that, tra that transition from the front foot to the back foot. And as you notice in this position here, um, the hands are still together when she does that. So now so she's transitioning back. Let's go ahead and look at, I call this the scissors move. And what I mean by this scissors move is the hands come apart here. And if you look at it, it's almost like it's a scissors. Um, actually, yeah, it would be the tossing arm is her left arm. So it's this move here. Um, that's very common as well. It's called a bilateral movement. And, and what I mean by that is the tossing arm is moving up. If you see this here with the scissors, tossing arms moving up, and then the hitting arm is moving back. So they're moving opposite of each other. Um, very common move here. And notice in this position, where's all her weight? All her weight is on her back foot. So very common here in this position with the scissors, with the scissors move, bilateral movement, tossing arm is going up, and the hitting arm is going back. Let's go ahead and look at the toss. Most players will release the toss right at the top of their, their head. And she's no different. Different. Um, she's releasing right around that area. So um, tossing um, will be released there. Notice in this position how the racket is staggered, right? So her arm is up here. So she's just kind of, that racket's going to be trailing behind, and it's going to play some catch-up. 
And when it does that, she's got a very fluid motion. I mean, I've, I've watched her serve several times and it's just so fluid. And that's just a testament to her learning tennis at age two, uh, played her first tournament at age four, won her first um, uh, junior French Open at 12, first WA tournament at 14. I mean, the girl's just, um, she's been playing a long time. So the repetition is there. Uh, but just, yeah, very fluid motion here. There's the toss. Um, she does a great job, too, if you watch here, how she airs out the armpit and then gets into this power position here. Look at the, look at the good angle here into the trophy pose, as I like to call it. Uh, perfect position here. So the racket head is up. Tossing arm is up. Does a great job here, too, of, um, you know, getting that tossing arm up. Doesn't do, um, she does, if you, you notice here, you'll see some players here where they actually, sh well, here, I'm going to do this. They'll show their 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 um, back shoulder more to the court, so she doesn't get as much um, torque here on the serve, but it's so fluid. Um, she has such a live arm, such good technique that she gets plenty of racket head speed that way. So she does coil a little bit with the hips and shoulders. Um, the other thing I want you to notice is just look at the knee bend. Great knee bend in this situation. Let's, let's watch that transition. So she loads there. All the weight's on the back foot. And then transfers to, to the front foot here again. And then loads in this position. So very strong position here. And this is where she's going to get the kinetic chain. She's going to get it working together here with the load. And then launch. Let's look at that racket drop here. And then the launching. So beautiful job here of relaxing her grip, right? She's now starting to turn her hips and shoulders and um, generating that, that vertical force here from the ground up into the ball. So technically, uh, really sound. The timing is really solid here. Really, really solid here. And notice how she launches. Um, notice too here how her tossing arm has dropped. So she's bringing that down. I've heard some people talk like almost feel like you're doing a cartwheel here. You can see how the arm ex um, exchanges, the tossing arm exchanges from being vertical, comes down, and now the hitting arm goes up. Uh, just a different type of analogy here. But nice job with the, um, the vertical launch here. Racket drops nicely. Um, she's now catching air here. Let's look at the contact point. So beautiful job of launching. Notice how she's caught air. Um, beautiful extension. Look at the extension. You can't see the contact point, but the arm is fully extended. It's out into the court, which is, a, is, is good. You see a lot of novice players or junior players where they're actually catching the ball behind the baseline. She's actually catching it out of the court for the most part pretty good. I'd like to see it maybe a little further out into the court. Um, but notice how the um, the hips and shoulders are facing the 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 target. So that's good. She's come around nicely. Uh, beautiful extension. Uh, great launch angle here. And then let's go ahead and look at the finish. So nice finish here. Um, notice how she's landed on that front foot. Uh, you're not going to see it here, I don't believe, but she will finish across her left side of her body. Um, and then the other thing that's really common with pros in this position, because they've launched so much, is just getting the balance so that that there's the front leg, they land on that, on that left foot. Um, I'd like to see, and, and it's a practice session, but I'd like to see her out into the court more with that front foot. I'd like to see it out here more when she, when she lands. Uh, but all in all, I mean, the serve is really, really sound. I don't know if she gets enough credit for her serve. Uh, probably didn't, you know, wasn't the leader of aces on the tour at the time. I tried to find some stats on that. I couldn't find anything. But um, she could place it well. And then once she got into the points, she could dictate and grind and move you around. She was, um, I've seen a few comments from other um, subscribers on the channel how, 
how well she could dictate. And, and, and once she got into the point, um, she could move her opponent, right? And uh, tennis is a game of keep away, and that's what she was good at. She was good at moving people and then having to play defense if she, if she had to. I hope you enjoy the video. Um, please, please hit the like button below um, and the subscribe button as well. Don't forget to hit that notification bell as well. That way you get the most current videos that I'm putting out. I really, really do appreciate your support. Um, it really helps grow the channel. And uh, yeah, just looking forward to creating more content. Have a great day.